Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am back with another video after a good long three weeks after I took a short break to give me some braids. I think I deserve to give me some braids, so that's what I did. But now your girl's back in her wig bag and I'm ready to get to it. I'm ready to, to look very good in front of y'all. I'm ready to show y'all how to look very good with me. So if you're interested, you want to see how I got this look. This hair came this color, this pretty juicy berry color. It was sent to me by Beauty Forever and they are sponsoring today's video, so big shout out to them. Um, all pants are definitely my own, so stay tuned and keep watching to find out what I think of this unit. And let's uh, see this tan. You're on vacation. I'm back and I'm ready to slay. If you're interested, if you like what you see, keep on watching. All I gotta say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. And welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for a little minute because I just decided that I deserve to get some braids. Niggas be getting braids all the time. I want to be I want to be somebody who get braids. So I just wanted to be Julia with braids for a couple weeks. I hope that was allowed. Um, it probably wasn't. I know y'all probably also mad at me. Y'all miss me so much. So I'm really sorry for going off and taking time away to have braids. Like that's really my bad. But now that the braid time is over, as you can see, they have exceeded their stay. You know. My hair must have grown a good five inches. So I'm very excited to see all my hair go down my back when I take these out. And I just I, I just feel like I'm about to put on this wig. I'm about to wash my hair real good. I'm about to do a little braid down underneath the wig. So I think y'all should just do this little transformation with me. How'd y'all feel about that? Yeah, my hair is literally gonna be down my back when I get done taking these out. So I am going to start the process of taking these all out. Um, I'll come back with a little update to show y'all how all my hair looking, but for the most part, I really just want to bust it down. I'm ready to, to move forward. I mean, my the tension on my scalp. I'll do my little first little snip in front of y'all if y'all want, you know. This one, this one's from the back, back here. Okay, so my hair is probably definitely all the way down here, but you know, to save some time, you know, maybe just like, you know, to get something to get a haircut in the future, I'll just start like right here, you know. Now my hair has got to be down here, like it has to be, so. How are y'all doing? Did y'all miss me? I hope y'all miss me. Like, every now and again, there's somebody like, what's going on? Where's the video? And they'll DM me that, and it's really nice. Like, thank you for harassing me. I don't think I would continue making content if somebody didn't harass me too every now and again, so. Damn. I, I could have swore my hair was down my back. I'm gonna come back every now and again to give y'all a little progress update. Not excited for the post braids shedding. You know, that's never fun. It's like, I already feel like I was supposed to have 10 inches of hair, now you're actually telling me all my hair is coming out. So, again, I'll be back in a little bit. Progress check. And hopefully I can get this done in a matter of minutes. I have a shirt change because, you know, who's taking out braids in a hoodie? Not very smart. But here's the progress so far. My hair is all the way down my back, like I said. So, at this point, it's like I'm more than ready for my hair to get free from this. Finally, after three billion years, I have my hair back. I mean, just the release of tension from my shit. Oh, I'm gonna wash my hair so good. It is now wig install time. I'm ready. My hair is moisturized and prepped. I went and washed it. And I went ahead and just left it in some oil overnight because I was trying this like no oil, just leave in conditioner thing. And I think my hair was not feeling it. So I'm back on the oils. You know, they said it was bad, but like, my hair eating it up right now. My hair ain't never felt so moisturized ever. But I just let it sit in some oil and like two braids overnight and then I broke up those two braids into two parts. Braided those down into some smaller braids so they can be flattened the wig. Braided up real nice. Add a little um, bit of this meal, Mayo rice water, moisturizing milk to seal the ends and a little bit throughout the hair in general. And you know, made sure I detangled um, all the way through. And I have these nice four crispy braids to show all the extra hair I got in the three weeks of my braids. Now it's one time I got this unit from Beauty Forever Hair. It's so cute. Right now I've got the frontal sectioned off from the back of the hair because I just was plucking it. And it's like why I get the rest of the curls, you know, frizzy and bothered and messy when you can just get the front. So that's what I do. Frontal's all nice and plucked. I did bleach these knots. Bleaching colored hair is always kind of wacky but this hair did come this color it's like a really pretty 
like fruit juice berry color like I'm very excited to see it on my skin and I have a very cute style in mind this transformation is going to be very cute I'm doing a little TikTok I'm, I'm really excited for it actually I want to use this boho liquid gold today because I kind of want to chit chat and I want to use a blow dryer I'm gonna just fan it dry you know use B we're gonna, we're gonna work with it I haven't done this in a while I'm feeling frisky and I have vision so let's get into it I went ahead and unbraided the braid and the curls are very juicy it is kind of like a U part, but like it's a, like almost a full 13 by 4 I don't know, like the sides are just barely, like they could have gave you the sides, but you know. There's also this little elastic band that comes with this, so I'm going to use it. It seems like it don't want to work. I don't know what that is. I don't really feel like figuring it out because, you know, I can really just, it done messed up my brows, like, for no reason. You know, no shade to the band. I'm sure somebody else will like it. I probably could have loosened it up, made my head bigger than I think, but I'm going to just raw dog it. Whew. This is one of those wings where it's like just enough on the side, like no more, no less. If, if it, this head, which I should like measure this actually. I'm gonna measure this for you. Like I'm feeling like giving the extra tea. I'll go measure how wide this is because like this is something that it's a concern I guess. If you don't, your head isn't exactly this amount of inches, like is this gonna be ear to ear for you? I'm gonna go measure it for you real quick. Okay, from ear to ear 28 centimeters or about 10 and we just gonna say 28 centimeters I don't know how to convert that into inches so yeah I've been gone for a good like three weeks um I needed a vacation I took a vacation for my birthday and I had a wonderful time in the Bahamas on the sea I'm so glad I got to take a break from doing my hair and if you were just so kind, you're enjoying the chit chat right now as I get into, you know, the tan and everything, can you please be a doll and watch my last video? Um, it was something that um, was out of need because I just needed a break from my hair so bad. So I did a unit on my best friend and I killed it. So if you want to see the process, please, I got a card right here easy viewing if you're on your tv you can just lift it up it'll be right there it'll be recommended at the end of the video as well if you didn't see my last video please make sure you check it out because i put a lot of work into it and i hate doing care about my people but i did it because i know a lot of people would find it useful and you know a lot of people wish they could get their hair done on me so I'll, if you want to live vicariously through her you can do that <laughs> i got me a little package from even actually and you know it's given very much dr umar um, the lady sent $10 and he said next time make it 20 but I know you barely had that one but I digress they sent me two travel size I don't want to be you know you know but I, I bought at least five big fat old events but they sent me two travel size ones travel size do I think I deserve the big big dog ones absolutely but you know maybe next time the box will be bigger as oh <laughs> Um, and then I also need a skin protector. I'm sure this is the full size. I don't think it's no bigger. So thank you for this full size seeming skin protector. I'm, I'm very much thankful for these products. I just think I deserve a little bit more. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to use it though. Like, let's see. I'm going to use the products they sent to me and I'm definitely going to use those. No shade. They're going to get used, but... <sighs> it said you can spray it directly on a cloth. So here's the skin protector. Let's see if I like it. Let's get into it. I'll just do a little thin layer like that. And then I'm gonna smooth it out with my finger. My wig is lifted off my forehead and I'm feeling super cute. Like my face is neat right now. I've had a full face of makeup on in weeks. I've very much been getting natural girl with the braids. But there's a, there's like a part of me that just loves a full beat and a wig. If anybody has fans, somebody make fans, like somebody send me a fan. I will throw up the fuck out of your fan. It's this dollar store fan been broke for a very long time. So if somebody want to replace it, that would be amazing. Like, I will promote the fuck out of it. Ever since I used that nasty brush on camera, I've been like, y'all never catch me slipping without a brush, I mean a comb, ever again. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't need a blood dryer for this. I wanted to do it the hard way or something so I could talk to y'all. The hell is wrong with me? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Maybe I do gotta get the blow dryer. Is that okay? Are you gonna be mad at me? I was gonna chat, but like, this feel like the Stone Ages. And we in the 21st century. And honestly, I don't know what I was thinking for when I thought I was gonna just, you know, 
fan it and talk to y'all because we had gone through this a long time ago. I don't know if y'all remember, but the directions and they have they say specifically use warm air. So I was gonna have these mobile jar always, and for that I should have used these travel size evens. And for that I would like to issue an apology for even, and I will put out a note to an apology um, pretty soon to you know. I should have used this in the first place. But I'm gonna use this gold one to like seal the edges. So it's time for that part of the video. You know what time it is. And you see what I'm doing. And don't do it, don't do it straight. If you do it straight, everybody's gonna see your lace. And it's gonna be embarrassing. <sighs> Let's test out this gold one. The gold one is the sensitive, and I don't know if you don't know, maybe you don't know. The red one is the active one. And I do have sensitive skin, so like let's see what the protectant and the sensitive do together. That was powerful. Okay. I put it on this little spatula right on the lace and unfortunately I'm, I'm blow drying this up too we hopefully we can chat when the I, I sprayed it all on the blow dryer hopefully we can chat when my wig down I went ahead and did you know y'all a favor and I saved y'all this the stain of watching me do this middle part a million times but you know if it's a Julia video and I undo this band it is probably going to be that anyway so did you miss out? Probably not. Yeah, and I knew it was gonna look like this when I got up out of there. Like, and I knew I was gonna look like this. I gotta go get hyped up with my friends really quick. Give me a second. So, unfortunately, we are all pretty high and nobody hyped me up the way I want them to be hyped up. So, I'm still gonna be here by myself because I know I look the fuck good. And this whole fuck is coming out, I look the fucking scalp. They want to watch a show and I hype me up, but do you, do you see what I look like? My little gay. So what I'm thinking is, I don't really feel like not knowing what I'm doing on camera. It don't really seem like the vibe. I don't really feel like that's going to be the 22-year-old Julia. 22-year-old Julia comes on camera and knows what she's doing. So even if she messes up and ch does changes directions on the way, she knows what she's doing. So I'm going to do this side off camera and come back and I already know what I'm doing. I already have this prepared. So when I'm talking to you, it can be chill and cash and not like, what the fuck am I going to do? You know, maybe I should do a little turn. Like, like I, I love a turn. Let's do a little turn. Okay. See you in a second. Hey, hey, it's me. Three billion hours later. I got some baby hairs. I got a little piece in the front ready to be some baby hairs. I got my little twisty knots. That took a very long time to do. Let's kick it off. Like, I'm feeling too cute. I wanted to see it in whole, its entirety. So, let's get these baby ears though. We're gonna give this a little razor. Now I've separated this hair from this little section right here because I don't like too much tug on my ear area and just gonna separate some hair just like this. Let's put this in a ponytail in the back. Now that this hair is up in the back, let's get this secured. Y'all know how I am about these uh, ponytails. I'm gonna put an elastic band on really quick and try to just bust it out. I don't wanna do this but one time. Ponytail is done. I am gonna do a couple filler knots before I show you guys, you know. No, I'm not. I'll do it right here, right now. Fuck it. You get a little piece of hair about this thick. I'm gonna put a little bit of mousse. I'm using this Cream of Nature coconut milk mousse. And I'm just gonna a little bit all down the length of the hair because the end is gonna be out, so you don't want it too frizzy. And I'm just gonna begin wrapping. And you're just gonna keep wrapping it's a, it's a pretty long piece of hair it's gonna take you a little a little minute if you're doing it on this length of hair grab it upon itself but you're gonna make it like a little knot and then once you get your little knot you're gonna take a bobby pin and try to secure it down and you're just gonna get like a multitude of these so I'm gonna zoom in and get you guys a better close-up look and just keep on filling in could probably need to do like five of these and you're gonna need a lot I buy bins. I notice if you just hold it a little closer to it, it'll naturally ball up on its own a little more. So instead of keeping it like elongated, you just ball it up on itself and it kind of gives it a more of a knotty look.
Boop. As you can see, I've got a lot of scarves going on. So let's take off this bottom scarf. I got this um, top one on just to make sure it's all super flat and gives the appearance of not a wig. Let's get off this elastic band. Now it's done its job and my hair is fully slicked up. We can work on the baby hairs and really quick I'm just gonna... I wanna do like a little curly cue right here. I didn't know if that would be cute or not, so it's in the air. I'm ready at this point to wrap it up. Like, let's get cute. Let's just stun on the hose. Like, grab your edge brush and just give it a nice little comb through and get like the shape you want going. Get your edge booster, edge control. Little top, little, little bit at the top. Sometimes it's a little long, nothing crazy. You just gotta, and then curl it again, like nothing happened. And then you'll just repeat on the other side. You'll just repeat it. It seems like it's gonna be a bit much, but I'm gonna do it. And if I don't like it, it's getting pushed to the back. And there she goes right on back to where she belongs. I'm gonna do some little off-screen touch-ups, come back when I think stuff is sufficient. Okay, so here is the final look. I just put a little concealer down the middle of my part and here it is, like, super cute and fun. Very 90s, very early 2000s. I love the little twisties. I will be doing more of them now that I officially know how to do them. Do y'all see these titties? And I've been running my fingers through it to get it like bigger and like it still hasn't tangled up on me. Feeling very cute. Love that the style came out just about the way I wanted it. You know, I'm a perfectionist, so next time hopefully my twisties are just like. So I'm proud of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Um, if you get a recreation, make sure you let me know. Nobody you tags me on Instagram when they recreate me. Y'all just don't want to tag me no more. I'm done chatting your ear off. If you're interested in any of the products I use today, be sure to check the description box and it'll be all be listed down below. Again, thank you to Be Forever for sponsoring today's video and sending me this unit. And thanks to y'all for watching this video and keeping up with me. I'm excited to push out more content for you guys and I just wanna get back at my creative, like having fun, coming on here and doing different styles of bag. So, hope you guys are in for the ride and if you are, give me a like, a comment, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to see you next one. Bye, beautiful.